Hi lovelies, my name is Jessica and welcome to Makeup Misfit and I have another advent calendar update for you. However, this one is not so good, but we're going to get into it. So last month and every month I'm rolling in two new mini fragrances to get through my 24 day advent calendar. This was the best way I knew I could use up these little mini sample fragrances that I would get in all of these Sephora orders, and it's been going pretty well considering. However, to get through all 24, I need to roll in two every month, and last month I rolled in four because I missed an update. We're a little behind, but it's okay. It is what it is. I will get through them. It's no big deal. If I don't finish all 24 by the end of this year, that's fine. So... Before I get into the ones that I rolled in last month, I'm going to chat about the two that were rolled in at the previous uh, update that were rolled over into last, last update, last month. So the first two that I'm going to talk about, um, I have in this little one. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Myth. Now, I was using this one the last couple of days. However, I don't know if it's leaking or if when I spray, it just kind of like leaks a little bit or what it is because like when you the bottle doesn't feel too bad but like if I go to spray it after like it's just I can kind of feel it on my hands right now and I'm not liking it I'm not the biggest fan of this perfume either so I think I'm just going to roll it out just get rid of it I'm not going to like I still have half the bottle to go and I'm not going to finish this one anytime soon so I think what I'm going to do is just get rid of it because I don't want it hanging around I'm not going to use it much especially if it is leaking or a little bit just kind of seems to seep out it's gonna go so I will be not counting this one as completely finished I did have one previously where it was like empty so I'm not going to count it as completely finished, but it will be out of this project. One that I did completely finish off and just recently as well is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. So this is all that's left, but you can't spray it out anymore. I didn't mind this one, but again, I'm glad that it's gone. It's probably not one that I would actually end up purchasing. Now, last month I do apologize because I forgot to put up the notes and the little info about each of the perfumes that were... Um, rolled in so I'm going to do that this month because all four of those are still hanging around so we are going to just chat about that so the only one that is completely finished off this month is Vanilla Woods however both that one and Myth are going to be out of this project so first we're going to chat about this one right here I have not used this at all could not tell you so this one's going to stick around a little bit. I will have the info somewhere on there. I don't know if you're really going to be able to see the name of it. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I am going to take one of these because if you saw my video yesterday, I am currently out of town. But the day that you see this is when I am coming back. This doesn't smell too bad, but I'm going to bring one of these little mini perfumes with me to just get some more use on it. Um, one or two of them. We'll see. I'm not quite sure which ones yet, but this one is hanging around for a bit. Another one that's hanging around, but I actually have been using is the Marc Jacob Daisy. So I might take this one with me. That way I can completely finish it off, um, sooner than later. And I don't mind this one either. Like this one's nice. I don't know if I'll purchase this one in the future. I think this is just the regular Daisy. Oh, so fresh is the one that it is. I know there's different kinds. I do have like a sweet one in like a full size bottle or a mini, like larger than this, but not the like big expensive full size bottle, like the mid size, I guess it is. Um, I think it's like the sweet one. This one is so fresh. I do like this one, but I don't think I'll be purchasing it anytime soon. The one that I rolled in last month that I was so excited about was this one right here this is the opium perfume and i have not used it even once so i don't think i'm going to take this one with me i not that i want to save it for special occasions but i do feel like i should probably get around to wearing it soon um but this one i am still really looking forward to testing it out because i haven't actually used the original opium perfume at all before i don't think it was actually in this project it may have been and I may have mentioned that last time that I thought it was 
but there was the new version. There's like a cherry scent to it, which I really did like that one. I completely finished off that little sample size of that one. So I really do think that I'm going to enjoy this one and I'm just excited to use it. I just have to actually use it. And then last but not least is this Mon Guerlain perfume. Haven't used this one yet at all. So this one's going to be hanging around for a little bit as well. So on top of these four that are still sticking around, I'm going to be pulling in two new perfumes. So we're going to see what those ones are. So last month I pulled in day 11, 12, 13, and 14. So today is day 15 and 16. So let's open her up. That's what it's looking like. And let's see if I can find 15 and 16. So I found 16 right here. And 15 is all the way up here. Okay, so let me take a look and see what we are pulling in. So day 15. Oh, it's another Chloe perfume. I had one in previously. I don't know if it's the exact same one or not. It very well could be. I don't know, smells similar, I'm sure. So we have another Chloe perfume. Not super exciting, but that's okay. And then for day 16, I have, ooh, I have a Tom Ford one. It's Bitter Peach. I've heard good things and I'm excited. Where are we here? I'll show you guys. Tom Ford, Bitter Peach. These are so expensive. That squirted out really weird. Oh. <coughs> That's strong. Oh, I don't know. Okay, now it's not so bad, but like first initial spray, it was like an overload of like men's cologne is like what my first initial thought was, but it's definitely settled. I can definitely smell. It's like, it's peach, but yeah, the bitterness I can smell. Again, I will have all of the info, the scents, the everything. I usually just get it off like the Sephora app if they have it. Um, screenshots of what they are. So those should be up there. And that's, that's this project. Very simple, very easy. I'm hoping that I can get a couple of these rolled out for next update. I do think, and I'm actually going to go grab it because I don't have it here with me. I do think I know why I didn't get very much use on here. So let me be right back and I want to show you guys something. Okay, so I think as I know why I wasn't getting so much use on these little mini fragrances, as I was sitting here, it kind of came to mind, I completely finished off this Kaeli Pistachio perfume. She is gone and I only got her back at Christmas time. Now, it's definitely not my favorite scent. Like I do enjoy it, I do like it. I would spray it quite often. Not my absolute favorite, but it is one that I enjoy. I don't know if I would repurchase this. I do know that there's a couple of other scents that I want to try of hers. There's a cherry one and an apple one. So I think I would try those first before I actually maybe repurchase this one. Um, but this is definitely why I did not get good use on these little minis. So now that this one's completely finished off, hopefully I can put some focus towards these minis and get them a good couple of them anyways out at the next update because no matter what every month I'm rolling in two so I'm currently working on six perfumes still but they're many so they should be okay I think that by the end of this year as long as I have a good amount of them out like I said it doesn't have to be all of them but I'm just going to be so happy because these have been around most of these have been around for a very long time and they were just hanging out in my collection and I needed to get rid of them some way, somehow. And I saw, I want to say it was, I mentioned this in the intro, but I want to say it was Paula from a, a Beauty Guru Made Me Do It had done this with her advent calendar or something along those lines and used these little mini fragrances. So I thought that was a perfect idea. It's been working very well. I just haven't been super consistent with some of them, but it is what it is. We're going to get through this and I'm excited to see what the progress is looking like over the next few months for this project. I hope you guys are interested as well and that is it for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you all later. Bye.